Welcome to Build. I'm Laura Haywood, and today's guest is a massive deal. Her name is Taylor Louderman, and she's Tony nominated as Best Leading Actress in a Musical for playing Queen Bee Regina George in Mean Girls Good on job. Broadway. Uh, I'm in love with this show, and I've known Taylor for years. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so did I do okay pronouncing Regina George? You did a good job. You got that judge in there. How, how long did it take you to develop that particular um, bit? Pronunciation? Uh, I tried it one day in the lab, and it got a, it got a laugh. I was like, all right, we're keeping it. And it's been there since. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how, how do you, can you say it one more time? Yeah, Jewett, Regina Jewett. <laughs> I love it. And she is a massive deal. She is, yeah. uh, In fact, she is the most massive deal at this high school. Yeah. She's the queen bee. She is. It's too bad, right, that the whole school supports this terrible, terrible <laughs> girl uh, being the queen bee. But um, a hero comes in and saves the day, don't worry. Do you think of... Regina George is a terrible person? No, I do feel like uh, we all have um, bits and pieces of us that uh, are capable of being mean. And it's a matter of, right, whether we choose to be mean or not. And um, she uh, learns to use her powers for good, mm -hmm. I will say, by the end of the show. And I have hope for her. I have hope. She has some secrets. Um, I'm going to give one away right now. What? Her hair is not actually blonde. Her natural <laughs> color is dark blonde. It is, yeah. It's too bad. <laughs> Talk to me about your relationship with these other two girls on the poster with you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, Ashley, who plays Gretchen, uh, she and I went to college together at the University of Michigan. Go Blue. Yeah. And Kate uh, was kind of my, I, I left college early to do Bring It On the Musical, and she was in that with me, and I call that my second, my junior and senior year of college. Uh huh. So uh, I kind of went to school with both of them. But yeah, um, we have a blast backstage. We don't enter the show for 20 minutes, so we're backstage farting around <laughs> before uh, we do our, our entrance. And um, it's fun. It's fun. It makes, you know, when you do the same thing every night, eight times a week, you've got to spice it up. Up and you've mm -hmm. got to um, find newness to it. Um, and these two ladies really helped me do that. What are some of the things you mix up? Uh, well, we uh, will sing opera backstage before <laughs> we go on, like um, to whatever's happening on stage. Uh, and we'll just be silly. We'll slap each other across the face. What? Uh, we'll scare each other. If you watch on our oh, yes, yeah. we scare each other a lot. Um, we just try to have fun, mm -hmm. you know? Because if we're having fun, we think the audience is having more fun, too. And everyone's nicer to each other off stage oh, than they are gosh, on stage? Oh, my gosh. You wouldn't believe it. Uh, yeah. And you know what? That starts at the, at the top. Tina Fey mm -hmm. and, and Casey Nicola are directors. Actor. They just, they're, they're uh, amazing leaders. Like they've established this environment where we all feel safe and we all feel like we've got each other's backs. And I mean, when you're working on a project that's bigger than any one person, mm -hmm. uh, you really, you really have to come together and understand that it's not about any one of us. It's about this massive story that we're telling and, and hopefully affecting our audience with. And, um, and, and we're stronger and safer when we, when we watch out for each other, you know? If only the high schoolers knew that. Oh, no, it's too bad. <laughs> In fact, one of the things I was thinking about, the, the original cast recording is out now, yeah. and I've been listening to it basically nonstop. <laughs> and I was thinking, like, even the nice people in this show have a mean girl streak in them. Yeah, a little know? bit. Katie definitely does. Well, she certainly, like, turns plastic. Yeah. But even yeah. um, Gray Henson's character, Damien, mm. he, talks, he has a song about where he sings about how he likes to eat cake in front of the girls with eating yeah. disorders because it's funny, <laughs> you know? And I think that... That's what makes this show so so true to life is as yeah. much as a character like Regina George yeah. is, I can't even say it normally anymore. <laughs> um, as, as much as a character like Regina is um, sort of a caricature, yeah. there's so much that is that rings true about this show and what um, high school is, is like. really like. Yeah, I think that's why the film did so well, too, because it, it is... It, so real mm -hmm. and it doesn't take itself too seriously mm -hmm. um yeah definitely how much have you gone back and revisited the film no i can't i uh there were a, a few bits that i would go watch on youtube just to understand the the whole scene of it but you know if you try to copy someone um i feel like you're bound to fail because um right what i have to be honest and true to myself and so i just dig into uh the, the parts of me that are 
sassy or the parts of me that are mean and 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 try to be honest so that um the story can thrive uh especially when you take a film to this to the stage you have to be careful about that mm -hmm. because if i were trying to copy rachel mcadams um you wouldn't get uh, an authentic performance mm -hmm. i feel like you yeah. know so uh, did you have memories of the movie before you were auditioning? Like, yeah, do you for have, sure. Do you remember where you were? Get and it, loser, we're going shopping. For <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, what, uh, what was your first experience with the movie? No, I don't remember my first experience, but, like, it just hangs out on Netflix, right? Like, the film, like, <laughs> it just, like, hangs out on all of these, like, TV platforms. Or you're watching it play out in real life, yeah. you know? Uh, so I feel like I... I have a ton of uh, experience to pull from, experience with the film or, or real life. Uh, so I'm very, very familiar with it. What was your archetype when you were in high school? Yeah, everyone asks us. Um, I switched schools after my sophomore year. So Just like Campbell and bring it just on. Like Campbell, yeah. <laughs> Art imitates life. Uh, so I ha it forces you to bounce around, right? When you enter a new environment, mm -hmm. you have to make new friends. Uh, so I really was what they call a floater. In the book Queen Bees and Wannabes, which is what Rosalind Wiseman wrote, uh, it's like a self-help book for parents um, f with daughters in, in girl world. And that's what Tina Fey based the film off of. She, re she references floaters which, um, as you can imagine, are people who bop around to different cliques. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I sort of did a little bit of that, which I'm grateful for now because I can pull from it, you know, yeah. all these different shoes. Uh, yeah, so I didn't really stick to any certain group. You were a cheerleader, weren't you? No. Huh. You weren't a cheerleader I know, until you, you make, got... You, I mean, you, you did play the captain of the cheerleading I know, squad I know. But I played sports in high school, which mm -hmm. I think helped with the, the cheerleading stuff and bring it on. But, um, and then I was also a theater nerd. As you can imagine, sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, what was what shows were you in when you were in high school? Uh, I did a little bit of You're in Town. Mm. That was a lot of fun. I did Peter Pan, which yeah. was cool. Um, then you did Peter Pan in high school, and then and got then to play Wendy on television. Yeah. Wow, that's moving on up. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was it was cool to relive that. Um, yeah, but I uh, I'm from a really small town where we didn't have a lot of opportunities for theater or to learn about it. So I would drive an hour into St. Louis, Missouri, is where I'm from, and do do some of the stuff there at like the all boys schools where I knew they needed girls. Uh -huh. So uh, yeah, I, I learned a lot at, at a bunch of different places, which I think was pretty valuable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what is being a Tony nominee like? Oh my gosh, it's crazy. It's a dream come true, right? I remember being in my car, driving this hour long drive into the city, listening to Kelly O'Hara. I mean like, I'll never make it. I'll never be as good as she is. <laughs> and I don't do what she does, but um, I found my own thing. And it's really cool that all of this work feels like it's paid off. And mm -hmm. uh, it, yeah, it's it's it doesn't feel quite real. I think after it's all said and done, I'll reflect a little bit. But. Have you met Kelly O'Hara? Yeah, she was in Peter Van Live. Oh, of course. She my yeah. mom. We, we had a little duet. Um, <laughs> that must ah! have been a, a, like a pinch yourself <laughs> yeah, moment. Yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. For sure. I look up to her so hard. Yeah. So let's go back to Regina. Okay. Um, where do you think she got her meanness? Like, Ooh, insecurities. Were probably. people mean to her, do you think? Um, maybe. Oh, probably yes. And probably... Um, it was reinforced, you know, right? If she was mean and it worked, mm -hmm. and it and it it gave her power, um, then that's reinforced. She's gonna keep doing it, keep doing it, because um, essentially what she wants is is power, which she achieves by, you know, her looks, um, putting other people down. Her parents are wealthy. She's got nice clothes. All of these things I feel like fuel that. Um, and then as she as her other relationships aren't strong and real, um, she has to keep doing it mm -hmm. to uh, continue being the, the queen bee. I feel like her mom's a lot. A, a her mom's a lot. Her mom's a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, yeah. She's, I feel like the mom's such an enabler and was probably a mean girl herself. Yeah, and also really insecure. I almost think that her mom is a lot like Gretchen, which mm. uh, in the show they share a reprise of What's Wrong With Me. It's right. a song that, that Gretchen sings. Uh, yeah, they're, they're a lot alike. I mean, she kind of abuses her mom. She, she has a, sort of an abusive relationship with her with her mom. That, that She's the abuser. Yeah, she yeah. says, what is it? She... 
she made her mom switch bedrooms because she wanted the, the <laughs> master wanted the suite. master bedroom, yeah. She <laughs> and did. the mom was like, okay. Okay, whatever you want, whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. the logo of the show. First of all, like you are front and center looking fierce. Yeah, it's obnoxious, isn't it? It's everywhere. The other day I was in a cab and I turned over and there, there it is on a bus. I just like oh which my God. which has its own irony. I yeah, mean, right? <laughs> Regina and buses. Uh, without giving any <laughs> spoilers, uh, that that's not the healthiest relationship. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's 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 crazy. You could say that bus got hit by Regina George. <laughs> that's, good. that's good. I um I like this because each one of the the plastics, as you're called, has a. Uh, uh, a weapon of choice and I or a thing that you can't mm. that she can't live without and mm. for Gretchen it's her phone and for yeah. Karen it's her hair and for Regina it's her body oh okay and I feel like this <laughs> has all of that yeah definitely I uh, thought we were gonna it. say the the R there but yeah oh yeah I like sure. Shanaclis too is, was that real or is that something they photoshopped in no that's real you have a, do that's you wear, what I wear, you wear in the, 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 the R, R uh -huh. necklace yeah um that so that's obviously a wig that you've got on. Actually, right here was one of the first times we did our photo shoots. That's my real hair with hair extensions in. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, but it does look a, a lot like the wig that we that we have in the show. Well, your hair it's it's so much yellower. Yeah, that's hair, but, that's probably the same. But they color. touched up all the color. On this <laughs> yeah. It is man, is it a big, beautiful, colorful set? Yeah. Like everything in it. Um, until one moment when everything goes dark, which yeah. is sort of Regina's <laughs> Regina's fall. moment of her fall from grace. Yeah. Uh, wh what do you think it is that, um, other than I guess, I guess feeling threatened by Katie, who's the the Lindsay Lohan character from the film, um, who Erica plays so so perfectly. Perfect. Um, what do you think it is that that makes Regina sort of snap? Uh, in that moment where she just decides to sort of have revenge against the school? Uh, well, she, everything, mm. everything <laughs> she's worked for, every yeah. uh, her identity, everything is on the line yeah. because of Katie. So, uh, yeah, I mean, th that's it. It, it is, it is <laughs> yeah. just being um, threatened by her, right? I mean, in high school, we think everything is so... Uh, we, we feel things so much stronger. And, and like Damien says in the show, we haven't developed... Like, our brain hasn't fully developed yet. So we don't know how to handle stress. Uh, we haven't learned that lesson that, like... Uh, we're actually happier when we uh, get along with everyone, you know, even if we don't like someone. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's so much more worth it uh, to, to treat others with, with dignity and respect, right? Even in the face of conflict, um, to say how you feel, but in, in, in a nice way. Yeah. Um, and, and life is so much easier when you do that. And why not? Why else are we here? You know, why else am I on this planet? Uh, not to get too deep, but like other than to to give and make it a better place for other people, you know. Uh, so, yeah, she that's all she's worked for. That's how she values herself. And um, she has nothing else to live for if not being the, the queen bee. Um, and and. Hopefully she learns that lesson by the end that yeah. like it's just it's just not worth it. I mean, unfortunately, as she has to be in a neck brace <laughs> <laughs> at, at the prom, uh, you know. Um, but but man, that humanizes her. She looks her. gorgeous in that neck oh, brace. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny um, thinking about um, you know that line about brain development and then how that ties in, at least the way I watch it, with the song Apex Predator mm. because I do think that. Um, so much of the cattiness, for for lack of a better word, that happens in high school does have to do with like evolutionary biology. Totally. In the same way that the animals fight for control and power um, on the African landscape that, sure. that the character of Katie has come from. Yeah. Um, and I think it's such a smart... Yeah, you know, we do, we language developed and gossip developed as a way to keep communities tight and as a way to watch out for each other. Mm -hmm. So if somebody's misbehaving in the community, we had gossip to keep them in line. But nowadays, it's not life or death. Uh, so we abuse that power, right, to um, 
to excommunicate people or socially isolate them. Um, and girls do it. Guys use their fists, right, to mm -hmm. fight. But girls definitely use language and, and gossip to do so. It does have a, a positive influence on society, but we tend to use it, I think, negatively these days. Um, but again, you learn that lesson after you leave high school. That Are you hearing from a lot of high schoolers who see themselves reflected on stage? Yeah, um, I don't think they're going to be the ones that reach out to me about Regina necessarily. <laughs> I they're identify not with admit. your character so <laughs> <Yeah>. much. <laughs> they're not going to admit with that, but uh, definitely they reach out, and and uh, I, I know Gray gets a lot of uh, a lot of kiddos mm -hmm. reaching out to him, but um, but they also just uh, sometimes you'll hear stories about like, hey, you you inspired you and the cast, the show inspired me. Uh, and that is so much more powerful than I ever realized. Um, because even at the end of the day, like if I could, if we can inspire someone to go out and even just put a little more effort into, I don't know, their homework or like their finance job or whatever it is, um, that makes me feel like I'm giving back sure. in, in a world that feels really selfish sometimes, you know, um, and that's huge. And then sometimes we get some kids who are like, you know, I was, I was really suicidal last week and I saw this and it made me feel like um, somebody was telling my story and uh, I feel like I have more worth and uh, and that's huge. Yeah. That's huge. And so um, it means a lot to to be able to tell these these stories, right? Everyone's worth is non-negotiable. And uh, so to get to do that and, and send a positive message at night is, um, I think, the biggest reward for me. So what you're what I'm hearing you say is that being in Mean Girls allows you to model being nice. Yeah, absolutely. and that, that's a pretty sweet. Yeah, like, right. I never thought around. that playing the villain that I would feel. I, I don't know, like I'm uh, making an impact. I was mm -hmm. like, oh gosh, playing the villain. Like, how am I? How am I going to feel good about this? <laughs> well, I've actually had experiences where people people have said things like, I never realized how mean I was being. You know, sure. people think they're just talking to their friends or they think nobody's going to hear or, yeah. or, you know, like gossip is, is like you said, so much a part of our biological instinct. Yeah. People don't even realize that. Well, and that especially nowadays, especially like with social media, like I have two little sisters that are in high school and they'll oh, get wow. upset if there, there's a difference here between this malicious teasing and um, sort of being left out. Like they'll get upset if girls are at a party and they take a picture and post it online and they weren't invited. And I'm mm -hmm. like, that's not bullying. Yeah. That's just, you know, th that's we have FOMO. Yeah, that's just FOMO. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but, but what, and this isn't social media related, but what Regina does, which I think makes it hard to pinpoint and target a, a bully, is um, this sort of uh, malicious teasing where if you're my target, I know what hurts you. Mm -hmm. And you've confided in me something like, I don't know, everyone else <laughs> in the room doesn't realize that it hurts you. They they see it as a joke. Yeah. And so I'm funny, but we both know that I just hurt you. Right. Um and, and and that's that's hard to that's hard to go tell an adult like this happened or sure. you know, it's it's hard to pinpoint. Um but it's so manipulative. It's so manipulative. It's like when when she buys Katie a pair of high heels and is like, this is my present to you. Look how nice I am. Yeah, but they're terrible shoes. Well, <laughs> and we find out she bought them because she knew Katie had never worn heels before and would fall over and look dumb. But you yeah. can't go be like, she just bought me a pair of designer heels. That's so mean. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right. Exactly. And that's what's so smart about her. And again, you, you, I, I hope the audience can leave feeling like, oh, okay, she's going to figure it out and use those powers for good and maybe become the next president. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that hearing you just say using her powers for good made me realize that Regina George is sort of Glinda? I was going to say, you're going <laughs> wicked, aren't you? I mean, do people say that? Have people said that before? No, nope, because first one. You know when she's getting, when Glinda is getting ready for like the dance and she goes up to Alpha and is like, um, you should wear this hat. You're both so smart. Yeah. You know? And everybody's like, ha, 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 ha. She's about to wear this ugly hat. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It is. And she I does like get that. turned around and use her powers for, for good. good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, cool. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite moment 
um, what either a moment when you are performing or a moment when you're off stage observing in Mean Girls the Musical? <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I really like wearing the fat suit. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, but I, Regina eats calcium bars, and so She's she, she gained some weight. Yeah, uh, and that, so that's fun to be a goofball. Um, <laughs> I enjoy being an idiot more than I do. A, a, I don't know. Uh, but then I, <laughs> I also love, there's a moment, at, my dressing room is far away from stage left, so uh, there's a moment where I exit the stage and have to hang out for a little bit, but I don't have enough time to go up to my dressing room. And that's when I play tricks on the stage hands or mm. the, the stage managers and I don't know, fart in their face or something. You know, <laughs> just like, uh, just be, be silly and, and have a good time. Uh, and so, and, and then I'm watching them do, uh, it's not justice anymore. It's called fearless. When we did it in DC, it was called justice. Uh, but yeah, so I'll get to watch them. And that's like a part in the show where they've just told Regina she can't sit with them. So sometimes I'll go to the edge of the stage. So the audience can't see me, but, but the cast can. Oh. And just like, be like, oh my God, I can't believe you guys did that to me. That's so mean. You know, and, <laughs> and make them laugh. or I don't know, just be silly. Yeah. Have you ever had a prank go wrong? Um. <laughs> no, I don't think so. All right, so. we'll just knock on someone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although the other, yesterday in the show, uh, I, I, I have to grab a doorknob and walk out the door and slam it, and the doorknob came right off the <laughs> door with me, and the audience just died <laughs> laughing. And, you know, that's it. at some point you have to surrender to the fact that, like, this is live theater, and <laughs> just be like, yep, this just <laughs> happened. And I walked out being like, can we do that every night? Because they rallied. You know? There's nothing like being reminded that yeah. you're in a live theater. That's my favorite thing as an audience member. Yeah. I never want to see anybody get hurt, but I want something to happen that night on yeah. stage that hasn't happened before and won't happen again right. because that's how we're reminded when something's so slick and beautiful and like well rehearsed it's almost like watching a movie yeah. and then something happens like somebody sneezes or something and you're yeah. like whoa, uh, whoa that's real yeah <laughs> yeah um so you know yeah get on that is, doorknob the audience <laughs> tends to uh really get excited by things like that and then you you've got it like one night my mic went out in my and my neck brace and i had to go up to katie's head and start talking <laughs> and the, you know and the audience like what's happening and then they bring out a mic and they all just cheer like you can do it <laughs> so it's, yeah those the, those moments of live theater make it a uh, really fun let's take a couple of questions from our audience yes <laughs> hello if Hi. you could steal any of regina's outfits for yourself which one would it be oh my gosh say uh, the neck brace <laughs> yeah right can you imagine uh she wears so i i learned this on the show there's a difference between louis vuitton shoes and louis vuitton Louboutins shoes Louboutins, Louis, yeah. Louis Vuitton, yeah uh, if you were to say it in french Louboutin. um it, it, it's funny, when I, when I reference them in the show, I say uh, my Louis Vuitton shoes, but I'm wearing Louis Vuitton shoes. <gasps> I would take both of those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Louis good. Vuittons have the red yes, on the bottom. Yes, yes, yeah. I've learned that since. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and Louis Vuitton is the stuff that you get fake versions of on Canal Street. Yes, they're very good. <laughs> yeah. Who else has a question? Hi, um, Hi. I know you mentioned already two um, stories of onstage mishaps, but I was wondering if there are any other like really funny ones that happened yes. so far in the run. <laughs> um, have, have you seen the show yet? Have you gotten to see it? Okay, well, there's a moment in the show where Katie uh, get, uh, gets her Halloween costume ripped off of her, and one day, Kate Rockwell ripped off all of her clothes. <gasps> all of her clothes. This was in DC, so this was before Broadway, and she's left on stage in her bra and a mic bell that you can see. <laughs> and we didn't stop the show. Uh, we kept going, and somebody brought her a jacket on stage, but uh, that was a blast. That was a blast, and luckily Erica is so cool and chill, she just laughed it off, but well, I would have been mortified. <laughs> that's also a scene where, that's the Halloween scene, yeah, right? Yeah. Where so everybody else is in these sexy, yes. like very little clothing. Yeah, that's true, so it worked. You know, I was thinking, in the movie, isn't there a moment where Regina has like, holes in her t-shirt. There is. I know. Her... I wish we did that, but we couldn't fit it all in. Yeah. We, was we that tried. ever in the... No, we never, we never put that in the other... We did at some point. I had a beard uh, and a like a beard. farting... Machine. Yeah, it was to try thing. It was like them doing that same sort of thing. Uh -huh. But uh, no, it, it didn't, it didn't stick. So here's what I'm thinking. What? You have some really um, high profile red carpet moments coming up. <gasps> I should do it. I really think for your Tony, Tony dress, dress, you I'll should cut... <laughs> 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 uh, do you know what you're going to be wearing for to the Tony Awards yet? 
Uh, I am I am teaming up with Christian Siriano mm. to um, we're, we're making one together, which is so cool. I've wow, never done custom. that custom. Yeah. yeah. Will yeah, it really be exciting. pink? No. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a little bit of pink in it. We'll see. We'll see. Well, it isn't a Wednesday, so yeah. you don't have to <laughs> you're wear right, pink. You're right. You're right. <laughs> uh, do we have another question? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, so we touched on this a little bit earlier, how everyone has a little bit of mean in them, but you seem so sweet. Where do thanks. you channel your mean, though? Ah, thanks. <laughs> um, well, we've all encountered um, mean behavior, right? Not necessarily. I don't think people are mean or nice. They're not one or the other, right? It's much more fluid than that. But um, I really feel like you, you can pull from experiences. There were definitely mean girls in high school that I remember. And um, I'm sure I tried my hand at some point in an effort to gain um, social power to, you know, be mean. So you, I feel like I've pulled from a bunch of different experiences uh, for sure. And, um, uh, you know, unfortunately, even in adulthood, there are, there's mean behavior. It, it's, it's, it's everywhere. Um, so, yeah. A little bit of everything, but um, again, it's totally not worth it, right? She is insanely nice. Uh, <laughs> I I got I first met Taylor when she was doing Bring It On, and then we cro we've crossed paths through mutual friends multiple times since then. And she's always been so so nice. Uh, so yeah. I really think that you are t you were cast against type uh, in Mean <laughs> Girls, but you're cast so perfectly too, um, and your ability to play that nastiness in a way that's both uh like it's not overacting mm. but you are um I don't I don't I'm it's feeling subtle. suddenly at a loss <laughs> for words um yeah it is not subtle um <laughs> but it's it's striking uh and I am such a huge fan of yours and I I am out there every Wednesday in pink trying to win yeah. like lottery, uh, the lottery and the, the rush tickets at Mean Girls. I can't stop going back. It's yeah. really an experience. And I hope everybody goes to see it. Good luck at the Tony Awards, thank Taylor. You. Thank and you. thank you for being with us. Oh my gosh. Thanks for having me, you guys. Thanks for being an awesome audience. <laughs>